So I just saw the movie The Invitation. Overall, really, really good movie. Great screenplay. Um, I did put spoiler alert because I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So there was a girl, unfortunately, she lost both her parents, her father and her mother, and she had no family. And, you know, was living ultimately, you know, a struggling life. She was a struggling artist. Um, the thing is that she found out on, you know, I guess Facebook, whatever the case may be, that she has family. And uh, one of her family members, you know, contacts her, says, we got to meet. You know, you have such a big family. Everybody wants to see you, all this stuff. Okay. So she winds up flying out to meet this guy. Now her friend's telling her, look, you know, be careful. You don't want to end up, you know, getting killed, you know, because people on the internet are crazy. Okay. So she winds up beating this guy and the guy's like, you know, rich. And he's like, listen to me. There's a big family wedding. I will personally, you know, pay for everything first class. It's on me because she's like, I can't afford to go. He, she, he says, I will pay for everything. Come to the family wedding. So when she gets there, you know, he first class all the way, picks her up in his like a Rolls Royce takes it to this, you know, it looks, it, it looked like Buckingham Palace, the house, like they're super, super, super rich, she's completely blown away, and um, the, the lord of the house, who's not her relative, you know, comes out to meet her, after there was this, like, little accident, because what happened was her friend, the, the, the girl, you know, in the state, she said, let's be, Make sure you take a picture on your phone of the license plate. God forbid I want to be able to help you if, you know, you get killed. And she's like, oh, my God. She was about to take a picture. And one of the maids bumped into her. And they had all the champagne glasses. It broke. And then the, the head butler, who was a real piece of work. This guy was a real, like, you know, jackass. He's, like, screaming at them. And she got really insulted, the girl. She's like, calm yourself down. And then when he found out who she was, that she was the relative. Because the Lord said, this is our special guest show some respect and he was like i am so sorry my lady and he all of a sudden i became very respectful and apologized and okay so they bring her up to her room her room is like a palace it's like a beautiful beautiful gorgeous room out of the royal family okay so she's living it up like you know lifestyles of the rich and famous everything is great she uh beats her family it's this big family everybody is just so nice and everybody's treating her great and she's in this gigantic mansion and she's she just feels like she's in a dream it's like kind of like a cinderella story so anyway everything's going great but then she just started noticing some weird things okay now now here's the first thing that she noticed she woke up in the middle of the night okay and um it's just very weird things were going on she saw all the uh, maids lined up it was like in the middle of the night and she's like what's going on over here and they're like they're doing their final duties for the night she just found that very odd and the girl and uh you know who was i guess the the the, the she was the head uh whatever it was i don't know maid or whoever she was she said you must go to sleep very dangerous at night very dangerous and she was like well you know what's going on so she goes to sleep long story short this guy you know who's the lord of the house is starting to put the moves on her now you know you know he's uh he's rich he's a good looking guy she's like saying you know she's calling up her friend at home saying this guy's got it all he's got the looks he's got the money she's like you better snatch that up honey you better snatch that up so one thing leads to another they get they're attracted to each other you know what i mean he you know he brings her to uh they had this big, I guess, pre-wedding party, and he starts dancing with her. He takes her back to his private quarters. They start kissing. They get into it. So things are things are looking up. The next the next night, she's sleeping in a bed. She starts seeing something crawling like a creature. She jumps up. She knocks over this like lamp. He comes running in. He's like, "I'm here. Everything's okay." You know, you must have had a nightmare. She's like, oh my God, there was something here. And he was like, you're safe, you're safe. He's like, would you like me to stay with you until you fall back asleep? So you, you, you could just tell, slowly but surely, he's making the moves. They're kissing, they're getting into it, everything's great. Okay, but they still didn't, they still didn't do the wild thing yet, okay. So what happened was, the next night, she starts getting like curious, George. Wow! Right? And they told her, don't go into the library. 
don't go into the library. It's like they're renovating it. She goes into the library. She found that there was a secret compartment where they kept the key. She opened it up. She found all of her records. It was like they were stalking her. You know what I mean? They said relative match. And they did a criminal background on her. They know her address. They know her job. They know her whole life. They had a whole file on her, her life story. So she's like, I'm getting out of here. That's it. I'm leaving. And the guy made it, you know, the lord of the house made a justifiable point. He's like, look, you know, you have to try to understand I don't know who you are. You could be a lunatic. I just did a background check on you. You're going to be sleeping in my house. You know, it made sense, right? I mean, wouldn't anybody do that? If someone was going to be staying at your house, you might want to know who they are. You, want, you might want to do a background check. So he convinced her that even though she freaked out that he did a background check on her, kind of was justifiable. Next thing you know, she forgave her real quick. They're doing the wild thing now. Now they're getting into it. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So now... They're really into each other big time. Okay. So the big day comes for the wedding. He sends her a nice dress. He gave her a couple of dresses already. He gave her like a beautiful, expensive dress. My wife's coming here. I'm just doing a review, but you could come over here. He gave her an expensive dress. She, you know, she says to him, she walks in. She says, where's the, where's the bride and the groom, right? <laughs> and that's when he announced it. He's like, you're my bride. And she's like, what are you talking about? And then all of a sudden, they just, it was like the whole family snaps out, right? One of the maids, they cut her throat. They they use the blood for their wine glass. They're vampires. They're all vampires, right? So she's freaking out. She's like, oh my God, you know? Salud, by the way, here. My, my wife gave me a little alka salsa. With all the, I had a 50-ounce steak from uh, Outback's. Did you tell them how you ran into fans at the movie theater? Yeah, yeah, I made videos on it. Yeah. Everybody recognized the ape follow <laughs> at the movie theater. It was crazy. It's like I'm like a celebrity. You know, yeah, it was great. They they ran up to him. They, they wanted his shirt. Yeah, they won't buy my and shirt. And they're like, we know who you are. Ape, ape follow, we love you. But anyway, let me just finish the review. Right. I love to stay here with because you can tell. So so now she tries to run out, whatever. They're not, they're not going to let her leave. That's it. Basically... I'm a little confused with the beginning. This guy was like Dracula, you understand? The Lord, he was like forever young. This dude was probably like 500 years old. So I think he was once married to her great grandmother or something. And then she hung herself because she, you know, obviously don't want to be with this monster. And they just, he, he wanted the bloodline. So that's why they were tracking down the relative. He wanted the bloodline to be his wife again. And they tracked her down. That's what it was. They found her. Um... The only thing that didn't make any sense to me was that once you suck this guy's blood, you understand? Because when you get married to him, you got to suck his blood, you become a vampire. So I just got a little confused because it's like, would it the great-grandmother be a vampire? And then anybody else that, you know, at, you know, the the bloodline will all be vampires, right? But I don't, maybe what happened was my wife made a good point. Maybe she, she, she had kids before she met this guy. You see what I'm trying to say? And then she hung herself when she was a vampire and killed herself, I don't know. It, there was a couple of loops, loop, loopholes of the story. But anyway, long story short, they wanted, he wanted to replace, you know, the great grandmother. He wanted someone in the bloodline to be his new wife. And they found her. They tracked her down, right? So that's it. She gets to the point where she realizes there's no escape. She's finished. So she just agrees to marry him. So they have the big ceremony, right? He bites into his wrist. He's like, you must suck my blood. And then she just like flips out. She just sucks his blood like a like a Kamenji. <laughs> Loving it. And he's like, he's falling on the floor because she's sucking his blood like so much, right? And now she becomes a vampire. So now her, her nails, they, they, they come out, they shoot out like a wolf. You know, you see the veins in her, her neck, her face, she, her eyes. She's a vampire, right? Then the next thing, she, she now she's got the power. You understand? Know she's got the power. Like, I got the power! I gotta like, talk a little low here because of my neighbors. So long story short, she re, she just snaps out. She she stabs the guy who is the Lord right in his heart. She like, you know, he, he starts turning old, I guess, because that's the old story, right? You take a wooden stake, you, you put it to the fruit of the vampire's heart, you kill him. But he wasn't dead yet. Then she just starts going nuts, starts killing everybody, attacking her, because now she's got power, you understand? She she lets, they had one of the maids that were using her as the uh, the dessert, you know, that we eating, everybody was biting into her, eating her up. She releases her, she runs out, 
Then there was these two other vampire girls. She winds up, you know, fighting them, and <laughs> it's just it's crazy, man. It's like so. Long story short, one of the girls like felt bad. They, they, you know, she kind of took her side. She killed one of the vampires, and she was a vampire too, but she just took her side. So now, then that crazy butler that she had a problem with, she kills him. So everything's great. Then the, the Lord finally comes back and he's like, I don't understand you. I was giving you a life of riches. I, you were going to have eternal life. You were going to have everything. And then, then she says, I'd rather burn, she said, than have this life. And she just kicks him into the fire. And then the old story is once you kill the head vampire, you know all the vampire movies like Lost Boys. Once you kill the, the head vampire, you become mortal again. So she kills the vampire. She becomes mortal. She leaves the house. Everything was great up until the ending, man. The ending sucked big rhinoceros balls. So the, wouldn't you think that would be a dramatic experience? Like, I mean, let me ask you your, your opinion. Wouldn't that be dramatic? That, you know, you're, you're, you're almost marrying Count Dracula, your whole family of vampires that you didn't know you never even had. Everybody's out to try to kill you. So you suck your blood. You're sucking their blood, right? It's a, it's a dramatic experience, right? Well, long story short, she comes back, because this was like in like, I don't know, somewhere in the UK. She comes back with her friend, and, and she's like, come on, honey. Like She wants to kill the uh, guy who was the first relative that, you know, contacted her on the Facebook, on the computer. And she looks like G.I. Jane. She's got that, like, short haircut. And she's just like, and the friend's got a bat. And they're like, let's take him out. And that's how it ends. It's just like, ugh. Like, I mean, if anything, chop the guy's head off, right? Pull a Lorraine Bobbitt. Do something like, because this guy's the one who introduced her, you know, brought her in, into this freaking crazy situation, right? Don't you think that she should have tortured this dude? But anyway, that's how it ended. It ended where, I, I, you're probably like, I don't even want to even see the movie now, April. You gave it all away. <laughs> I, it's a good movie. No, yeah, no, no. I give it like an 8 out of 10. It's just that there was a few loopholes, like, you know, Every the, with the with the great grandmother, was she a vampire? Was she not a vampire? She killed herself. You know why? Would why was the rest of the family mortals? Because they were looking for the bloodline, and they and the ending sucked. Other than that, great movie. It was worth a watch. It was definitely worth. I would say definitely watch it. Yeah. So that's about it.